together on seclosounds.org Your listening station Hi, I'm Terry Sullivan and welcome to this week's Sticks Radio Show here on Seclo Sounds. This week I have a northern soul feel to the show. Um, later on in the hour, I'm going to be talking to soul diva Diane Shaw. I'm going to be playing her new single. Uh, but first up, I've got the lady called Vi. She's from the Flirtations. We'll be talking to her after we've heard this. Probably their biggest song or most recent song. This is Roulette. <laughs> That's uh, Roulette by, uh, well, it's by my uh, guest today, the group of my guest is in. Uh, it's none other than Viola from The Flirtations. How are you doing, Viola? Hi, how are you? I'm great. That's a, that's a lovely song. I mean, it did really well for yourself. It went to number 10 in the um, commercial pop uh, charts in 2009. That's unbelievable. Well, isn't that great? Oh, it's a fabulous song. I mean, it, I mean, it's really one of those ones that cheers you up when you hear that, isn't it? Yeah, than... it's a good song. Uh, we had a fabulous time making the video. Yeah, it, it, it's good. Yeah, it's a great song. But you, you're also—I mean, you're Viola from the Flirtations. But you also have a, an alter ego, don't you? Have a another name you use? Yeah, I have, I have another name that has spanned me over the last forty years. Pearly Gates. Pearly Gates. That sounds like. It's, uh, where, where did you get that name from? That's a Bruce Welsh of the Shadows game. Really? Name. How did he give you that? Well, because I left the flirtations in 74. We were doing a television series. Cliff Richard was doing a television mm-hmm. series. And we were on the show. And after that, year, 73, I left the flirtations after that show. And Cliff asked me if I would uh, join, come and do the, the second show with him. Mm-hmm. And I said, yes. And Bruce said, we got to change your name. Well, you need a new name. And that's how it came about. Yeah, well, I, Purdy Gates. I, you know, it sounds, sounds like you're going into heaven. Is that what it was? Well, that's the nearest to heaven as you're ever going to get. <laughs> <laughs> as, as anybody can tell you, when we did Family Fortune with Lisa last year yeah. and Vernon K. Oh, oh yes. And he said, Purdy Gates, wow. Oh, Pearly Gates. And, I went, and you was as near as to heaven as you'll ever get, Vernon. I well, remember. it was hysterical. I remember and that. And this year they did Family Misfortunes. Yeah. And they was along as a very good piece about that Pearly mm. Gates and as the, the funniest thing, the nicest thing has ever been said to him, he said. Yeah, I remember seeing it, actually. Now comes to think of it. Yeah, I, I, I do love... didn't even know who I was. Yeah, I do know. I mean... It, I mean, you've been around, I mean, on the Northern Soul scene for many, many, many years. For many years. I, perhaps many I, years. Perhaps I better not say how many years, or shall no, I say? No, no, you can. You know, I, I, I take great pleasure in telling people exactly. This time of the year is when I first came to England, and I fell in love with it. And people thought I had lost the plot because it was so cold, and, you know, it was like 
boogie in those days. Mm. We've been in this in this country for forty eight years. Forty eight years, because you're the, the the flirtations that are coming. Um, they are playing locally, and I will mention where and everything. So if you if you want to know, want to meet up, uh, want to see the flirtation, not meet them. Well, maybe meet them. Um, you, I'll, I'll tell you all about that in a little while. But forty eight years, and it's still the same three ladies, isn't it? Well, and I came back because. Uh, we had lost a lot of girls in, in girl groups, and mm. uh, girl groups weren't together. So in 1996, I was at my home, and some friends of mine, we were just singing, messing around. And they said, well, you girls should get back together. You're sounding better than normal. Mm. Hence is why. I said, okay, I'll give it a go. And I put it together, and we did some stuff. We did television. We recorded some stuff. And, yeah, that's how it happened. Mm. So how did you, how did you, I mean... You, you came over here 48 years ago, and yep. um, you. how did you sort of really get into the music business? Because obviously, you, you're, for, I, I think everybody can tell by your accent, you're certainly not English, you're American. I'm a southerner. You're a southerner. And, and I was singing, I, I was singing in Alabama. I went to school with Lionel Richie. Really? I'm from Tuskegee, Alabama. Really? You went to school with Lionel? Absolutely. W- was he, he a was good... two years behind me. Ah, uh, was he? Okay. So I have to tell him that every, I keep reminding him that every place that he's worked, I worked first. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't think he's <laughs> I mean, he lives, I think he lives over in England, or certainly part of the year. No, 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 he, he, he visits. Oh, he visits, does he? he? Okay, I thought, he, I thought he'd take that residence. But, I mean, I bet, what was he like as a schoolboy? God, spill the beans. Hey, you know, we're from Tuskegee, Alabama, and it was a different kettle of fish altogether. Kids were very nice, they were very studious. They, you know, you, from the South, you, you, you had to learn and be better all the time, every time. And as you can see from Lionel Richard, the way that he carries himself... Oh. The way that his capability of being a great writer mm-hmm. and just everything about him is like that. He's and a- that's how we were brought up. Mm-hmm. You had one incentive is to, to either be somebody or not. Mm. And, and most people from the South stemmed on being somebody. Mm. I've had the pleasure of seeing Lionel when he was with the Commodores. Oh, and- yeah. Well, then, and again, I, would, I often say to people I went to school with Lionel Richie, but Lionel Le- Le- Pratt and myself... We grew up in the same small town, just outside wow. of Tuskegee. And when I went to Tuskegee, I went to Tuskegee High School, and Le Pratt went to Tuskegee University. Wow. Yeah. So how many, who, anybody else famous you were at school with? Oh, my God, that's enough, isn't it? No, I think that's quite enough, right? I, no, uh, I, I had the pleasure of working with uh, Tina Turner. Oh. With, with the original group, we were called the Gypsies. We had a record yeah. called It's a Woman's World and Jerk It. If you're mm-hmm. a Northern Soul fan, you know about these songs. Well, we had the pleasure of meeting Tina Turner when she was with Ike Turner mm-hmm. in those days. But, of course, as everybody I know, I know there's nobody really I don't know because my career has taken me in that past. But, uh, yeah, we have been very blessed and we're very, very lucky. Very good. We're very appreciative of the things that we've achieved and, and, and success that we've had, especially in Europe. Mm. And, um, yeah, it's great. Great. Well, I mean... I'll, I'll go. I'll sort of try and go back on the history. I mean, I, the the band was formed. They were called the Gypsies then, back in the, in the early sixties. And I won't That's mention right. exactly what date. Three sixty four. Yeah, just just after I was born. Just uh, when, yes, I okay. know. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bragging again. Yeah, I, I, I well, I, I don't feel that. Uh, oh, I, some mornings I don't feel that young. I can tell you anymore. I, I listen. I know the feeling well. <laughs> and, and you joined the group in about sixty five. Is that correct? Sixty. I met the group in 64. I 64. left Alabama in 64, and about six, seven months after I met them, I met their sister, who was originally, originally the lead singer of the flirtation. Mm. That's Betty Pierce. Betty Pierce, She yeah. sang Jerk It, and she sang on It's a Woman's World. I mean, that's a famous song, that Woman's World, isn't yeah, it's it? A I great mean, everybody song. It really is that. a good song. Okay. And then, um, obviously, you, you, you joined up the, 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 uh, the flirtations, as yeah. they were called. Well, they were, Ernestine and Shirley was in school, and mm. Betty was working at a, at, a, at a small place, a factory, and I needed to get out of the house because I was working at a nightclub in, in Long Island called The Spice of Life, and I needed something to do, doing, and that was on this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I did a uh, Sweet Sixteen party parties and bar mitzvahs and I sang a couple of jazz numbers at night. That's how I got into the business mm. by doing that. Um, and then I met her sister when I 
to the factory to work every day because I didn't want to be, what, what am I going to do? Just mm -hmm. sit around and do nothing? Mm -hmm. I'm a country girl. I can't do that. <laughs> so then she said, I got, a, I got a singing group. I'd like to invite you into the city. We got a group. I got a group. My sisters and I sing together. And I went in and I, I met them. And Ernestine was young. Like she was like 15, approaching 16. And Shirley, they were young. Although we're only like three years in, in our age difference, because mm. remember I was just I just turned eighteen. I left in Alabama at seventeen and turned eighteen my birthday. So I like the I like the setup, but you know, like going into a group with three sisters, you got to be having a laugh. Mm. But that that went on to be very successful because mm. uh, we we recorded Jerk It and It's a Woman's World. We went on to do the New York, the famous New York Apollo Theater oh. with Tommy Hunt. Tommy Hunt was the headline on that bill. Mm. And but th then you um, was this was this before you won the, the talent show? You won a talent show in '68. In '68. Yeah, you won a talent show, didn't you? M me, Pearly Gates, or the no, the flirtations. No, not that I. I don't know. That was before, probably before I met them. Yeah, a girl I, called Lestine. But they had only been together for a couple of months. So yeah, I don't know. and then. You know, I, I never talk about that with them, so I'm mm. not sure. No, okay. I, I mean, then you. I gotta ask Ernestine about it. Yeah. Then, then you, um, you, I mean, you, you, you signed to the Parrot Record label. The Parrot Record label. Parrot Record label is that not correct? No, Old Town Records. Old Town Records. We, we had a manager called Randy Stewart of the Fiestas. You know the record so fine. Okay. Yes. Okay. When we left America, he was so upset that we left America that he. Sorry about that that he put together another girl group. Oh, did he? Yes, he did. And for a long time in America, when we had nothing but a heartache and went on to do um, um, uh, Someone Out There yeah. and then Can't Stop Loving You, mm -hmm. which Tom Jones... I was going to mention that, the Tom, Tom Jones... Tom Jones took the record, his manager took the record, and he had a number one record with it. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, but it happens in show business often. A lot of uh, people it, don't talk about it, but it's something that I... Listen, that's life. Things happen in life. Yeah, I mean... I mean? And also, in the 60s, I remember a lot of bands recorded each other's songs as well. All the same song was in well, the charts. Uh, three uh, different versions. Know, that was an opportunity for the Gypsies to go to Motown. Mm. And I don't know, I just had an insight that if we went to Motown and they had the Marvelous, they had the Supremes, they had every... Body you could think of. Mm. And I knew that Barry Gordy, we was in direct competition with the Supremes because, mm. you know, uh, we were an attractive girl looking girl group. Mm. And, we had, and we had a great lead singer. So you can't put yourself in a situation like that. I thought, I'm not going to do that in America. I'm going to go and try England. I love the Beatles, I love the fashion. And I knew that if we stayed in America, it wouldn't have happened for mm. us. So that that was the, the the thinking for coming over to England in yes, was it six, that was my reason. I, mean, that was, I was on television with Billy Stewart with the Gypsies. Yeah, we were singing. I was crying my eyes out because Shirley had informed me there's no way she's going to come to England. Oh dear. I uh, yes. Mm. Yeah, and I said with or without you, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. And um, but you, when you when you came to England, what what actually happened when you, you initially came to England? Uh, did uh, did you get picked up by some big promoter or something like that or? What happened? It's a pleasure to be working with Clem Curtis in yeah. the next few weeks. I know. Because we, we met somebody, and they took us into a, a, a management company called uh, Barry Class. Mm -hmm. He managed the foundations. Oh. I didn't know that at the time, but I found out later. And on our way from the meeting, two gentlemen walked into the office, was on their way into the office, and one of them said, are you a girl group? And we said, yes. He said, don't leave, wait, wait, stay. And it was Wayne Bickerton and Tony Waddington, uh, the, song, the, the, the writers that wrote the, the whole The Flirtation, Nothing But a Heartache album. Uh, and so yeah. that, it was a chance. I mean, I mean, Clem was on a couple of weeks ago on the show. He's a real gentleman. Um, but you're going to be playing with Clem uh, in the area. You're going to be playing... What, on, on the 27th, 27th of February at that's right, the Arena. That's right. With a, you're playing it's a, it's a Northern Soul Night. You've got a nine-piece band. Well, that's yeah. That will be noisy on its own, won't it? There's just yeah, 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 no, no, it's going to be good on Loud, that. yes. You good. know, with that, you got the front line. You, uh, know, you can't yeah. do Northern Soul without a front line. Well, I live about 20 miles away, so I should be able to hear it from where ah, I live. Are you going to come? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I may come down. I have to see what... What do you mean you 
Well, I'm, oh. well, I'm gonna. Hope, well, hopefully it'll be sold out, so I won't be able to get in. But oh, so. no, you don't have to pay. You oh, good. Oh, well, that, that, that's lovely. Now, <laughs> you're, you're, you're. Well, you're. Well, according to the poster, you're.